<laughs> All right, yo, how you all doing, ladies and gentlemen? So we're here today with Kingdom, well, the continuation of Kingdom, Volume Twenty Eight, aka Chapter Two Ninety Nine to Chapter Three O Five. I'll probably do like three chapters now, four chapters afterwards, and then just put them all together. Maybe not. Depends how. Depends on timing, really. If I'm gonna get a call, I'll have to end it. If I'm not, then not. Um, but Chapter Two Ninety Nine. Let's open it up and see where the story continues from where we left off yesterday. So, just move the camera down a little bit, much better. Uh, magazine cover, not bad. Kingdom getting a magazine cover, not bad. Shin on the front cover with toe at the bottom right. Okay, chapter two ninety nine, a new approach. Well, let's see. After your defensive, well, you were forced into a defensive style. Let's see what your new approach is. Kankoku Pass, Captain. So, so, so we're going to back to Kankoku Pass. We're not staying with, you know, uh, Ohan, Moten, and To. We're switching to Kankoku Pass. Captain, more enemy archers are keep popping up. It's far more than yesterday. We're taking hideous losses. Shoot them back. Don't panic. It doesn't matter how many reinforcements they have. It doesn't change the fact that the ladders can only reach halfway. We'll be fine. Kankoku Pass will not fall to arrows alone. Now that you said that, they're gonna fall to arrows alone. Well, that, that's not quite an arrow, but yeah, that's that's a dangerous weapon. You better you. you ooh. They've got oh, they've got like fifty or so of them. Giant crossbows. They've got like fifty or so of them. They're twice as big compared to the Han army last time. So many of them, and they've appeared before General Kanki and Choto's positions too. Seed crossbows. A seed. Oh, yeah, from, for those of you guys who don't know what a seed crossbow is, a seed crossbow is a seed weapon made by scaling up a crossbow and then mounting it on top of a cart. As the Chinese philosopher Mo Zi wrote, the seed crossbow was invented during the spring and autumn period, but due to the difficulty of manufacturing, there do not exist many records of it seeing actual use on the battlefield. It's seeing use right here. It's seeing use right here. The crossbows of this era were capable of firing bolts that measured roughly two meters in length. However, the ones that appeared in front of Kanku Pass now were equipped with stakes that were nearly four. Oof. Well, well, at this point, I don't know what you're gonna do. The, the way army just keeps bringing one oversized thing out after exactly. They want that W. They want that vi that win. That victory. That gold at the end. We've entered firing range. All units halt. Guard the crossbows from the enemy archers. Get ready to fire. They shoot. They're gonna shoot us. They're as big as a goddamn spear. Will these shields even hold against those people? No, against stones, not people. Obviously, against stones, definitely what. It's just a bluff. Increasing the size of the balls. This guy is stupid. This guy is absolutely stupid. This has this this guy has to be the stupidest character I've seen in the whole show. It's just a bluff. Increasing the size of the bolts won't do anything. Just keep your heads down and we'll be fine, Captain. No, yeah, no, 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 no. those are powerful. You can already tell how powerful they are. Those must have some sort of trick, boss. Well, just watch and see. Homei Sama, begin, and they fire it. Knocking it down, yeah. At the speed and the size and the power, the velocity that that, that, that that's traveling at, that, that's that's going not just for a shield. That's going for like multiple people, like three, four people. I'm assuming. Ah, oh, they're not even aiming for them. They're aiming for the wall itself. Oh, that's a good move. Take down the wall. Oh, that's a good move. That's, uh, I thought they were going to go for the people on all fairness, but then again, you can't really shoot. Well, if you're quite far enough back, you could, but they're going straight for the wall. Like, no, 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 no. We, we, we've, we've, if we take down the wall, then we've basically won this guaranteed. It's a free win at that point. Yeah. Go. Whoa. Huh? No one got hit. No. Look, all the guys around us are fine too. They're, no, they freak. No, they didn't. All right. Look at that! Look, look at the things just stuck in there. All right, then what was all that shaking? Then whoa, they're stuck here. Yeah. The bolts are stuck in the wall. What? What strength? 
but it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean shit if they miss. Well, ha ha ha. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even see that. There's ropes attached. Is, are they gonna like climb up? There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's 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 almost like a suicide mission. But are they gonna climb up? I don't. I don't know. They could. Maybe. Potentially. Oh, they're actually climbing up. All right. You have you have just a hundred of them. Just a thousand of them. Just climbing up. All right. Climb up. Pass along the rope so we have more entry points. Huh. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. Emergency. The enemy is climbing up using the ropes attached to the balls. Oh, 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 nanny, shit! Quick, shoot them. Rocks. Bring over the rocks. Uh, for too late. To cover our men climbing. Gonna focus on the front. Any shoot anyone who shows his head. Hurry up and load the second shot. They just so the size of those crossbows was for the purpose of hammering in the nails in the walls of Kangaku Pass. What a man, way commander, go home, mate. Yo, I, I swear, like, you know, you know how now you have like your, your in instinctual generals. You've got your power generals, but the strategical ones, they've been the best so far by a long shot. Like, it just shows you strategy beats everything, even instincts, even power. A strategy can get past everything. Let, let, let Ogiko, let Ogiko have a look at what's going on too. What? Boss, watch out. Drop some rocks to shake those balls loose or something. What about using the oil and burning them? We got more oil from Kanju, didn't we? No, Kanju, we, we have to save the oil for siege towers. More importantly, we gotta hit those crossbows with fire arrows. Here, there, here comes the second barrage. Shit, the enemy is going to get even more entry points. Oh, has Kanmei got this? Not Kanmei. Kanki got something planned. I don't know, boss, isn't this really bad? Those huge ass things are gonna keep shooting and letting the enemy climb up exactly. Cuckoo, so much for that crap about not a single time has anyone managed to <laughs> to latch onto Kankoku Pass. This already makes it the second time it's happened exactly. This isn't exactly the time to latch. Nah, 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 he's coming, he's like, you know what, no matter what scheme you have, I'm the scheme master, all right? So let's see what he's uh, and we switch up no well perhaps we don't switch away maybe for like a panel or so a page or so but yeah he, he's a scheme master after giant siege towers now we have giant crossbows are you capable of building them riboku i'm afraid that is something far beyond me Fuh. it seems the world holds various types of product i think i think our last chapter i called a prodigy <laughs> It holds various types of prodigies. Perhaps I should take him back to Chu. You just. That said, this time we've managed to create a foothold on all three Shin Commander's areas. Not to mention seeing how durable those crossbows seem to be. They can just continue firing. Exactly. They can just continue firing barrage after barrage to create even more possible entry points. This is the worst possible attack for the defenders. So this is the decisive hunt that Homei prepared for this day. A rumble. So he's using that at the same time too. Yo. Alright. Alright. At this point I really don't know what Elot can do. Um just dealing with the with the siege chat with the siege crossbows it, it, it's more than enough. And now here come the siege towers too. Open up a path forward. Homei Sarah the siege tower is here. Where shall we send it? Do you even need to ask? Like he, like he's even easily looks fierce now. He not just look. He doesn't just look like a strategian. He looks fierce. Like he actually looks like you know what? This is it. This is it, and I'm doing it. Bring over the big rocks. Those balls aren't budging at all. Don't let them climb up here. It's hard to aim with these guys. The enemy's arrows won't let up. We need to shoot back. We can't see from here. Huh. It didn't take long for the Choto army spot to get. Yeah, they're, they're, they're here. Archers, get back. What, the, the center army, they've already climbed up. Isn't that way too fast? Well, at this point, you want, I almost want to say checkmate. Now we go to the poison dude, Se Seikai. Seikai. Han Army Commander and Chief Seikai. It's a given that they would be so fast. With the loss of its central command, the army has been greatly weakened. Those that fall victim to my personally formulated Gotangan, uh, Roaring Minimum Sphere, 
Gotagon will hemorrhage to death in eight days. And today is exactly the eighth day. The curtain of death is falling over Choto's headquarters right as we speak. Here is she. Uh, so, so one general is out. It seemed like Choto is about to go out. Uh, Hirisama is dead. What shit? That already makes five advisors. They're all slowly perishing. Get back, all of you. Who knows if this is contagious or not, General? Curse you, men of Han. So that poison was all for the sake of today, yeah? Yeah. General, it's too reckless for you to take command in your current condition. Having lost all our advisors too, the reality is that our headquarters has already collapsed. There's even more enemies coming. Given the circumstance, shouldn't we send a request for aid to, to the Mogo army to our... No. No. You don't know how understaffed you are. That's the issue. I mean, obviously you do, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's... General, no. Hakuro has his own enemies to deal with. We cannot burn them. But then, let us request aid from General Kanki to our right. Alright. Now, that's a different story. I'm, I'm pretty sure Kanki alone... Uh, just give him 10... Give him 10 or 20 soldiers and he'll be able to, you know win his battle. Do not. You cannot rely on that. Ma Ooh, so he has an issue with Kanki. Kanki. Eight days ago. Do you have the resolve to protect this kingdom? I'm asking you whether or not you have the resolve to become a general who can shoulder this kingdom. Bandit Kanki. I don't think he... I don't think he, he's gonna say no, probably. Uh, who cares? I'm just here for blood, really. Foo. Why the hell would I have something like that? Have you gone senile, you old geezer? As I say, he doesn't care. I've always wanted to say how all you idiots are friggin' annoying. Going on and on about your kingdom, being on the brink of destruction. What the hell is so great about kingdoms anyway? If you peel off the outer skin, it's nothing more than a cesspool where a chosen few are allowed to treat the common folk however they want. What did you say? The result to protect this kingdom. Cuckoo. Don't make me laugh. I just want to kill. I couldn't care less about whether or not Shin gets destroyed. Grin. And he's like, I don't give a, I don't give a damn, alright? There's no need for reinforcements. I will go down and take charge of the men myself. <laughs> That's too reckless, General Choto Sama. And here come the siege tower. It's the siege tower. Way giant siege tower is heading this way now, and it's coming for us, boss. This is bad. It's going. It's going for the center army. It's like coo -coo -coo -coo. is that? That's how. Why is it always ending in such a weird fashion? Like, if, good thing I'm. Well, I will sooner or later be reading this. You know, weekly. But good thing I'm not reading this weekly right now because the, the way the chapters just end is just like in the middle of a sentence. Like, ha ha. I see you next week. Like, no, what, what, like, what's with these cliffhangers? What's with these endings? Anyway, we've reached the big 300. 100 was a milestone, 200 was a milestone, 300 is a milestone too. We've made it to 300. Danger of falling, chapter 300, and you just have got Kanki to arm black, of course. I couldn't care less as to whether or not Shin gets destroyed. Then for what reason are you here? Good question. If I had to sum it up in one sentence, then it would be because I'm fucking good at warfare. Much more than all of you dumbasses who think you're great just because you're a general. Oh, yeah, this guy is cocky, alright? I mean, he hasn't taken a loss yet. He's, he's been actually... He's been good at warfare. <laughs> Kanki, <laughs> someone like you who rose up from a bandit has no right to belittle generals. Do you have any any idea what sort of path men known as generals have to walk to stand at where they are now? Do you have any idea what sort of resolve they carry to be able to stand here? Not a single one of them is some half-baked man like you. Yes, yes, very commendable. What a tragedy it is that you're all so weak and cuckoo. Bastard, wait, foo. Oi, Choto. Then does that mean that you have to that you have to resolve to give up everything for the sake of Shin? What a foolish question. Very good. Then when your spot is in a jam, feel free to come and grovel before me. If you touch your head to the ground while saying, please help me, 
then I'll come save you, no problem. Cuckoo, pretty good deal, ain't it? What did you say? You yeah, okay, so that's why that's why he has that, that's why he's like, nah, no, whatever happens, definitely not. We're not gonna ask for help. But you know, that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's not gonna be Hakuro or you who screwed up and got himself poisoned. Whether or not Kankoko Pass will manage to hold out is all going to come down to my cleverness. Mr. Schemes, alright? Master Schemes, not just Mr. Schemes, Master Schemes. Here comes the siege tower. Oh, damn it, this is bad. Hurry and throw the oil, it's no good. We can't throw it without without getting to the front. Push them back, kill them. Yeah, no, the, the siege towers are here. The siege tower has latched on. No, even more enemies move it. Go, go, go. On one side, they're climbing up. On the other side is the siege tower. All right, the siege tower latched on too. We better get going. They're right under us. Knock them down. And they're, 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 they're just... Where did this guy just get like a spike net from? What, what, what? He didn't carry a spike. Okay, no, actually he did. So, so he's just carrying a spike net and, and just throws it up. Latches on and that's that how they're all gonna climb up, you know. Yeah, 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 all of the sol the soldiers are trapped too, with all the spikes and whatnot, stabbing them and whatnot. Just they're climbing up, what the hell are you doing? Right, get up, I'm gonna fall the net, cut the net. Nah, it, it, with the siege tower and the nets, the enemy's coming from practically Alright, Kanki. If he can if he can actually do this, right? I've said before, Kanki, right? Kanki over Osen, right? Alright? I've said this, I'll, I'll stick with that, right? But if he can do this, then Kanki definitely over Osen, right? Because Osen hasn't done anything, right? And Kanki, if, if he, he's already done a lot, but... Uh, <laughs> what are our reserves doing? Due to our large number of wounded, and they're having difficulty switching up there. It's a complete mess down there. We should ask the Mogo army. There is no, they are struggled. They are struggling with themselves, after all. No can do. The Mogo army have their hands full dealing with their position. There's no reinforcements anywhere. It's the same for the Kanki army on the right. What? This is bad. This is really bad. If we don't stop the enemy now, then we really will be beyond help. And once that happens, we cough Choto Summer. It seems the center is, you can just see actually from that shot right there, just like siege tower, siege tower, and then just rope, 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 just ropes everywhere. It, it, the, the crossbows everywhere and the ropes. Once it collapses, the Wei army will immediately capture that area, and with the capture of one point, the other two bases will swiftly follow. In other words, the fall of Kankoku Pass. Yo, that is an insane amount of people. Look at that. That, that looks like a million. I know it's not that many, but that, look, that looks like a million. Push them back. Keep pushing. Keep it up. Kill them. Not good. Not good. If you don't push them back, they'll just keep increasing until we get overwhelmed. Damn it. Where are the reinforcements? You think I know? Go crush the shin. Huh? And there is the Kanki army. What's that guy named? I don't know his name. The one with the, you know. You know who I'm talking about, right? And his squad are just arriving like, yeah, boy, let's do this. Well, it's a cavalry eh? on, a, on a friggin' uh, on a friggin' uh, wall, right? That they, they've got a cavalry. Yeah, that, that in of itself is quite insane. How do you get horses up there and whatnot? But hey, it's cavalry. Cavalry, what the heck are they doing? Cavalry, you say? Yeah, even there, so General Kang is like, yo, I've been waiting. Eh, pretty much, I expected you to. I expected you to die at this point. I used to like, yo. How y'all doing, folks? General Kanki, he's here, just like, yo, how y'all doing? Coo -coo -coo. Seems to turn out like this after all, eh, Shoto? Kanki, why have you come? I didn't send for your help. Quit playing around, old man. Now isn't the time for that. With the appearance of those huge ass crossbows, the tide has completely turned in their favor. If we don't want to get carried away by that momentum, then we're gonna need to pull something big out of our asses too. All right, which is something big, and like this henchman notices something, which is ah, the general Kanki's position. They've been greatly pushed back by the enemy. Well, no helping that, seeing as how I brought all the real scrappers here with me. Kanki, you. Dumbass, don't go getting the wrong idea, Grams. I simply came here because there's a convenient thing sitting right in front of you. 
the siege tower, seeing as how I've sacrificed a part of my own body to use as bait. We're gonna hold this until the boss gets it. Out of, you're not gonna hold anything, my friends. Kya! We should be able to catch ourselves a big fish. Ton Brothers, get it rolling. It's Taku, not Ton. Here we go. Alright, so. I did just gonna. <laughs> oh, they always do. It's the same thing, and it's working again. Barrel of oil, just. Eh. They just threw it on the siege tower and just lighted up in flames again. What are they doing? They missed the sea. No, 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 they didn't. Ah, they, no, they're just burning the area behind it. I see. They, you don't need to hit for. No, actually, no. I was going to say they're, bur they're burning the bottom, but no, that behind it? No, no, that's not, no people can actually go in the siege tower. Is that what's going on? Like they, they can't, like no more reinforcements can go to the siege tower. I'm not sure. Uh, or maybe it's like trying to just create a fire, so like all the people that are you know stuck at the crossbows climbing up, they'll you know they have fire behind them pretty much. Like they'll be burned from the. I, I'm not sure. Again, I'm just speculating here, right? Throw down the smoke bombs, and so they just want to create smokes. Okay. The soldiers in the siege tower who were in the process of climbing up to the walls. We've been set on. We've been set on fire. <laughs> all right. Immediately began to panic when the towers. All right. Fair enough. Yo, you know what? That would mess with you psychologically. Immediately began to panic when the towers suddenly filled with smoke. Run and this all run out and then this all get burned. Naturally, this was because the other siege tower's occupants had been burned to a crisp on the first. Yo, that face that one guy has like a smoke. What? What? Get outside quickly. Retreat. Evacuate the tower. Hurry! Don't push. And they, they're all gonna go out and like they're all gonna push each other into the flame or something. Every last one of the troops inside the siege tower proceeded to scramble their way out of it. Fall back. Actually, no, they're going out the side. All right, fair enough. What's going on? What is it? What? It's been set on fire again. No, that should be impossible. The wood was soaked in plenty of water. Ah, I see. Outthink your enemy. Sun Tzu once said that to win a war, be like Kanki. Because if you like Kanki, you're going to win. So he, he foresaw that, alright? Why did all of you come back out? There's a fire. It's been set on fire again. There's no fire. The only thing burning is the ground behind you. What? The confused way soldiers who had disembarked from the siege tower. But the inside was filled with smoke. Don't be ridiculous. There's no fire. Get back in, huh? Would then bear witness to a shocking sight. The... Ah, the cavalry is the sight of the Kanki army. The... Descending out of the siege tower and onto the ground. He's like, you know what? Let, let, let's fight. Let's fight. I'm, he's really good at warfare. I, yeah, I have to agree with him. He is really good at warfare. Eh, 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 enemies? Well then, shall we get started? Shall we just like, damn it, yo, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I know I'm passing away soon by the looks of it, but I hate this guy, all right? Uh, yeah, and he's like, yeah, then, shall we begin? Let's get started. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Let's have some fun, all right? That was chapter 300. Let's move on to chapter 301 and see how he gets on. Oh, what? You're going down there. Yes, chapter 301. Sea of enemies. Yep. Bring the horses. Boss, the boards are in play. Like, he's got all this planned out. Like, you can, that's not something I can just come up with on the spot. He had all this planned out. Like, straight up. Like, that's... I wouldn't say he's a strategist. I wouldn't say he's a tactician or a strategist. He's just a, he's just a tinkerer, right? That's the that's the word I'm looking for. Just he, comes up with weird shit at the at the right moment, I guess. They're running out of it. The siege, the 500 IQ, right there. They're running out of it. The siege tower should be completely empty now. If you want to come along, hurry up and get changed, Choto. Let's go. Are you out of your mind? The combined Wei and Han, Han armies are down there. You'll be dropping right into the middle of our 150,000 enemy soldiers. Take them on while they're confused and while their morale is down and while everything, I don't know. Oh, unless he's that confident that he's few, uh, even that, no. Even, no, no, Mo, no, even Oki himself wouldn't be able to do anything here. Like, we're, we're like a few thousand soldiers right into like uh, the 150k. 
Okay, you'll be throwing yourself right into a sea of enemies. Enemies, yes, chapter 301, sea of enemies. And he's just smiling, he's like so overconfident. That's right. Uh, I'm just like, they're just going, they're just going, they're just fighting right now. They're like, yeah, who cares? They just started normally. No, take the flag. That's enough. Disengage. Let's move. Ah, a charge against an army of tens of thousands with this many men. We're going to it. Choto Sama. <laughs> Old man Choto's chained into Wei soldier's armor and followed us. Well, their shin armor does stick out like a sore thumb. Coo coo coo. Yeah. All right, we've broken out of that mess. They, they're, they're out of it. Piece of cake. It's too early to get happy. Thanks to the smoke bomb, all the men near the foot, uh, near the foot of the tower were in chaos. Exactly, the real thing oh, starts here. What? What is? The, what's the plan here? Like, 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 it's. I know it's just archers, right? It's not. Not right here. It is just archers. It is not any actual. I, I can't see anyone with like a sword or anything. Just you know, people with archers and whatnot. But what's the plan here? What's the goal? Amazing. Are we? Are we really going into that? Kanki's unit is here. No need to fret, Rido. Everything's going to go just yeah. This guy is overcut. I, I like that. I like that. All right. Tactician, strategist, whatever you want to call. It, he's gonna win the war straight up. So many people not listening. Shields up. Nothing would be more lame than getting sent to the next world by a shin. I don't see that, that, I agree. I actually agree with that quite a lot. <laughs> Incidentally, neither Han nor Wei's headquarters knows that they can't get off the. Of course they wouldn't. It's like 50 soldiers against 150k. Incidentally, neither Han nor Wei's headquarters noticed that the Kanki unit had descended onto the ground. Is he going for. And I don't think so. Yeah, but it would be it would be awesome if he actually went for you know straight for the headquarters. That that would be something. Not only did the smoke screen obscure our vision, Kanki's men were not seen due to how swiftly they had departed from the scene. They had only seen the men near the siege tower in a state of confusion due to some fire scheme. But that was not the only reason. Our men have started climbing the walls too. The commanders themselves had given their full it makes sense, yeah, their full attention to what they believe was the decisive clash occurring on the walls of Kankoku Pass. Keep up the arrows, climb up, support our men at the top, shoot them, kill them, keep shooting, don't stop. And Kanki, who had expected all of this, did he just walked to the headquarters, proceeded to brazenly wade right through this huge sea of like this guy's just like doo -doo 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 -doo, who cares? Like, like, like they're not they're not focused on us right now. You know, they're just yeah, they don't know they're not noticing us. They're, like, they're all like keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, we're out of arrows. Hurry up and get more. Shoot him. Gradually increase the amount of wounded. Getting swarmed out. Shoot. Shoot. Like, it's like strolling through. We, we know that he's sneaky, alright? Because we've seen it previously. Just hiding and whatnot. And Master. Master at hide and seek, alright? Quit slacking, your shitty archers. Make sure you aim properly. Here he goes again. Choto Sama. This is Kanki. Yeah, he's playing. Uh, he's pretending to be the, the enemy, basically, a, a leader of the enemy or whatnot. To so sneak into any army disguised as their own like this isn't too rare in itself. Occasionally, you would infiltrate them as a small unit of soldiers like this too. And naturally, the bigger the enemy army and the more confused they are, the higher chances of success. All of this makes perfect sense. However. To have personally decided to undertake this against the combined Wei and Han army of 150,000 men. What nerves in an eye for strike? I don't know whether that's strike. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this. I don't know whether that's strategy or just. I, I, it's not tradi Okay, it's not traditional strategy, alright? This isn't normal. This is the first time I've seen a man do battle in this manner. Who said you could take a break? Keep at it. <laughs> Kanki's talent could very possibly be on the same level as Shin's 6th grade general. Absolutely. Uh, impossible. Are you telling me this sort of scoundrel really possesses a strength on the same level as the 6th generals? Wipe out every last one of the Shin scum. Ah, this is the perfect boss. We're about to reach the Han Ar the Han army's position. We're going to steal us one of Han's flags next. Don't be stupid. You think we can make a commotion here? Eh, but we've only got a Wei flag. It won't be a problem. Wei siege crossbows have been deployed inside the Han army position as well. It won't be strange to see Wei soldiers entering their formation. Okay. 
All right. Besides, just take a look at this. The Han army has completely lost themselves. Yeah, that, 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 like that guy's like, ah, that shot. And all of them just like, yeah, let's go. Keep the uh, keep the arrows going. Right now, you could be carrying a shin flag, and I'd probably still let you. <laughs> that would be some. I see. Gishi, she. Well done. I guess we'll just let ourselves in, and they just they just keep going. They just keep going in this direction. Could it be that Kanki is in off the headquarters? I. That's where I would go. Wait, Kanki. Just what are you after down there? What is your objective? Foo. I told you we needed something big, didn't I? Ain't it obvious? Chop. Yeah. Yeah. He's aiming for their commander. At first, I thought he was going after the Wei commanders, but it seems that's not the case. Kanki's target is Seikai, the Han commander in us. Why Seikai? I, I, personally, I feel like you'd go after the strategist. That, that, that's who I would go for. But he must have. He, he obviously. Maybe it's like as a symbol. Like, okay, Chojo, we all know you're about to die. Take out the enemy that's that, that that just killed you. All right, something along those lines. I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm just speculating here. All right, don't, don't quote me on this. I know people will, but don't quote me on this. All right, and the Kanki unit of eight eighty men. All right, was but a tiny pebble in the thirty thousand strong formation of Han archers. Look at that. It is like walls out. Like. Han archer, Kanki arm. Han Archer's Kanki, Han Army, Wei Army, Headquarter. The Kanki unit was completely hidden among the huge enemy forces. On the array of Shin arrows, they advanced forward to a point directly perpendicular to Seikai's headquarter. Compared to Gohome of Wei, Seikai's headquarter was located much Ah, so, so that's why, much closer to the front, Han headquarters. This wasn't due to Seikai letting down his guard either. Just that normally in this situation, it would be unthinkable for enemies to appear. However, this positioning illustrated the difference in caution between the two commanders. I think it's the difference, uh, not not maybe not caution, but the difference in strategy, I would say, because, you know, uh, one is a you know, pure strategist and you need to have a much, like, like a much broader vision of the battle. Is that the right term? Not, not much broader vision, but you need to have a better field of the battle in of itself. So being further back obviously allows you to see more. I think that that's really what it boils down to being able to actually see the the battlefield much better in a, you know in a larger scope than being closer to it and just throwing poison like yeah yeah take some poison take some poison now get poisoned basically yeah that's the difference really. And Kanki was able to clearly see this difference from the top of I mean, of course from a higher position from a higher uh, vantage point you can see everything much better. They turned. Are we just going to head to the headquarter like this? But the closer we get to the head, Han headquarter, the further away from Shin's arrow will be going to. Won't they find us suspicious? No, we should be able to make it out of these archers at least. Their attention is also focused on the collapsing Kankoku Pass then. However, there still remains a problem ahead. No matter how far we manage to sneak in, at the end it's still going to be a showdown of strength. And exactly, and if you make too much of a noise, then all the arrows, the archers will turn around as well. To break into the headquarter with just these 80 horsemen is going to be difficult. At the very least, we'll need 500. No, 400. They seem like they're powerful. These days, they don't seem like personal people that can't be selected, so I'm pretty sure they're pretty good as well. Huh. Choto Sama, over there. A detachment, okay. Kanki, uh, yeah. This guy thinks of everything, alright? Straight up, just thinks of everything, every strategy, everything, alright? Kanki actually split off his men so they wouldn't attract attention. Choto Sama, Moro, he's every. And that way too, and there. In total, that makes five different units. With this, we will have 400. Grin. Just grin. Just grin. Alright. This guy, as I said, very good at warfare, very good strategist. It seems to be, I can't, can't say it right now yet, because obviously it hasn't happened yet, but it seems to be like he is winning at least the middle. The middle, the, the battle of Kankoku Pass. Seems like that, that's why he's winning single handedly, pretty much. Kankoku Pass, Kanki Army's position, but they have to hold out too. Yeah, they have to hold out too until he gets back. 
chapter 302, Resolve of No Return. No retreat, you bastard. We've got to hold out until the boss gets back. Ah, uh, uh, that's, uh, I, I can already see just from the quiver. Uh, that's, uh, that's a poisonous arrow. You can, al you can always, like this guy, yeah, get stabbed and just, uh, yeah, poison arrow. P poison arrow, yeah, of course. The black archer unit has arrived at the top. Good. Now that the black archers are on the scene, it's only a matter of time before the enemy crumbles. Great. Though we might have borrowed the strength of Wei siege crossbows, the honor of breaking down Kankoku Pass shall still belong to us. We'll have outwitted all the other armies despite being ridiculed as the state to have sent the weakest force. Urgent report! Urgent report! A unit! A unit of Wei soldiers have broken through our ranks and are heading this way. Broken through? Have there been any messages from the Wei commander? I don't know, they seemed suspicious, and the moment the ten unit accosted them, they turned their weapons on us and started riding through our formation. Now just wait a moment. Wei soldiers started fighting with our hand forces? What is the meaning of this? No, we can set we can save the details for later. More importantly, those Wei soldiers are almost upon us. what? Yeah. <laughs> Kanki unit, 400 men. Alright. Kanki, this point on will be an all out melee. Super Smash Brothers Melee! Split your men into three groups and fan out to the left and right wings. I will lead the center. You take either the left or the right. <coughs> you want me to leave the center to a walking corpse like you? Don't underestimate me, brat. The Choto troops who have carved their mark on the annals of war ever since the days of King Cho are a hundred times stronger than the likes of you brigands. Stop there, yeah, I've got, uh, going out in, in a style of glory, basically. That's what it seems like. Uh, what's this? Those guys are pretty good. Well, all right, all right. What is with those? At any rate, we have to stop them. Who they are matters not. Anyone who b turns their blade against our headquarters is an enemy. Say Kaisama. Hold nothing back. Wipe them out to the last man. So the Han headquarter has 2,000 troops and rising against 400 of Kanki soldiers. Not not just Kanki, right? But 400. Let's be real. It's Kanki soldiers, all right? It's Kanki's forces, all right? 400 of them. Yes, sir. All units engage the approaching enemies. Call back the reserves that were sent to the front. Hurry, they've broken through the second wall. Kankoku Pass, Mogo's position, keep climbing, move it. What? Kanki and Chota have left their position and struck out. Put, hence, it has been requested that General Mogo move to the central watchtower and take command of the entire pass. That is, simply keeping our own position in check is already a handful. Did Choto Dono truly say that? Yes, sir, without a doubt. Choto Sama himself also apologizes for this. For Choto Dono to request something like this, despite knowing how rash this is, I going out with the resolve of not coming back, absolutely. I mean, I don't think he would be able to come back you know, at all. Not good. The enemy has set up a foothold at the kin unit spot. If, it, if it's Kanki, then fair enough, but why would you do something as reckless as this? Poison. Come to think of it, there was a report of Chirito's headquarters being hit by a poison by some sort several days ago. Damn it, stop those crossbows somehow or we'll be overrun, yeah? Could it be that you've been poisoned, yeah? Are you looking to meet your end on the battlefield, Shoto Dono? Alright, we will hereby transfer to the center and oversee the entire pass. M Mogo sama Yeah, he's just holding on for dear life. I think like as I said, I think he's gonna go he's gonna get the victory uh, and that's gonna be his uh, your coup de grace. That's gonna be his final moment basically. But yeah. Yeah, they're just slicing and dicing through everyone's it wouldn't be kingdom without a decapitation, all right? I know we always say that, but it is it is the truth, all right? I don't think there's been a single volume so far that didn't have one, all right? What's up with that old geezer and the guys around him too? Are the men of Choto army all of a sudden? I think they're all, I think, aren't all of them poisoned? Like, so they're all basically like, yeah, if this is the last thing we can do, then that's what we're going to do. But it's still Choto himself. That's a real monster. Didn't the old one get wasted by the hands poison so badly that he couldn't even stand by himself? This is the resolve. Before Shoto and the others began their descent, 
Are you serious, Choto Sama? To go down there with only 30 or 40 riders? What will happen to our position? Without Choto Sama, here, the situation is going to be. Even if I were to remain here, I would not last much longer. Choto Sama, you. As for the wolves, have Hakuro Dono take command of Kankoko Pass. With him at the helm, you'll all be able to fight to your full potential. Having overcome all those life or death ordeals together in the past, I am sure that strength of yours will be enough to see this through. Choto sama, choto sama. Fu, before Kanki came, I had thought that on these walls would be where I would pass on, but instead he is planning on striking out into this huge sea of enemies. Though he might be a scoundrel, he is a brave man. Apologies to all of you, but at the very least, I wish to choose where I die. Please forgive this old man's final selfish request to have fought by your sides up till now. It was an honor. Choto Sama. Yeah, he's just barely hanging on. Yeah, the we'll breakthrough here too, just barely hanging on. Is it just me or are the Han weak? Is it cause we're too strong? Of course, Shin and Han's military are on a completely different level. Don't sell us short. Yeah, that's so. No need to be mad. It's the headquarters. The enemy and the enemy headquarters is right before us. Good. We've already made it to the eighth junction. The enemy's response is too slow. Smash right through him. I showed us how we've made. It. Like he, he is bare. I don't think he is really hanging on. Like he is. Look at look at him coughing. Yeah, that's a, that's a. I'm that's a. I'm dead kind of cough they're all looking at him like Choto Sama Ch yeah. Han Cavalry ah, I don't know. Han Cavalry is here too these guys are different from the men earlier Han Army Headquarter Defense Chief Nakon just scarfed I don't know what that guy that's a, that looks like a character but I don't know what it says I don't know who you are but you fools are getting a bit off head of yourself they must be the elite honor guard don't falter. Break through. There's no going back right now. There is absolutely no. Come on, Choto. Not yet. This body of mine. Just a bit more. The pain matters not. Just give these arms strength. The strength to swing my glaive. Choto, sir. Did he get... No, he didn't get hit. He's... He's... Oh, he's get... It... It... Uh, is that hit? Uh, is that... Did, is, did he just get slashed or is that him coughing? But like, no, he got slashed. I, I think he got slashed. I think, damn it all, just a bit more and just, just, damn it. The enemy has been crushed. That's a knock on for you. Oh, did they just get crushed? Say, Kai Sama, the enemy troops that spread out to the sides have been circling around to our rear. Alright, I circle around to our uh, what? Kanki and his units. Yeah. Here Seika instantly moved himself away from the encroaching Shin forces. Yeah. I I see why. I can see definitely but just by that illustration alone I can definitely see why. Having deduced with his sharp eyes that the just uh, that the just destroyed Choto unit was bait. While the two flanking units were the true attack, Seikai surrounded himself with elite troops from Nakon's retinue and moved forward, away from Kanki in what he believed was the least riskiest move. Uh, you, want, you don't want to get closer to Choto, who's on his final breath. However, there was one thing which Seikai overlooked, and that would be... Yeah, it's the headquarters flag. The headquarters heading this... Yeah, it's Choto season, like, you know, I'm, uh, no, 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 I'm not going to die yet. Right? We have five more minutes, and I'm going to take him out, and, uh, you know, I, I will have killed him, he will have killed me, basically, in that kind of stance. Yeah, uh, even that guy is, like, Nakon is, like, about to die, too. That the Choto unit that Seikai fought had already been destroyed would find a second win, and here they come. Now, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Of the, of the chapter. I'm so glad I'm not reading this weekly. <laughs> I actually, I actually don't want to catch up now. Cause I, I'm so glad I'm not reading this weekly. That, that, that's that was, that, that, that's terrible, cliffhangers, man. You don't do that, right? You don't make we, people wait a week for after the next chapter. For... General's pride. That's the hand commander Seikai. Bring him down. Surround him. Don't let him get away. Seikai Sama, please get behind us. Beat them back. The enemy doesn't have great numbers. Do not fear them. Kill them. Yeah, it looks like we're finally here. Kuff, Choto's. Nah, he's. 
Choto, Choto as in the Shin Commander, yeah. Seikai Sama, the enemy to our rear also fast approaching. Yeah, there should still be some defenses in the rear. And this is more important. Yeah, Cho uh, Choto as a Seikai, alright. Alright, circle around, kill them. General's Pride. And Kanki, like, you just see the three generals with Kanki as well. It's like, he always has the same face on him, you know. It's like, he always has the smirk, like, I guess the... It's always the same exact face. Have you noticed that? Pant. Pant. Get him. That's the Han head honcho right there. Make a breach to the left. If we can make it to our main forces, we'll be safe. Yeah, I was 15 years old when I embarked on my first campaign. Is that Shoto? Yeah. For 50 years have I wandered from battlefield to battlefield, glaive in hand and smeared with dirt and blood. Even now in the Shin army, I hold the longest service record among all its old generals. Not a bad run if I say so myself. Die, Choto. No, 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 no. You're not interrupting him while he's giving a speech. All that was left was a fitting conclusion. To this long career. If that meant dying on a battlefield, then so be it. However, not poison. Slay the Shin Commander. It can't be poison. Something like poison is no way for a general to die. Alright, so okay, he's like, yo, screw this poison, right? Well, I'm not going out like that. So I'm assuming now it's going to be a you know, stab, stab kind of situation. I, I'm, that's what I'm expecting, alright? Die, Choto. What the hell have you done, you scum? Yeah, he is pissed. Straight up, he's like, yo, I, I didn't even mind that, but, 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 but poison? Nah, definitely not poison. Not, but they're definitely not poison. Like, even, like, all the soldiers are riled up to that, like, you know what? You wanna kill a general with poison, man? Screw you, man. Screw you. Follow Choto Sama's lead. Incoming. And, ah, just arrows. Arrows after arrows. I'm assuming... I was just about to say, I'm assuming... I'm assuming poison arrows, yeah? You just see the quiver, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're just all being poisoned too. What foolish drivel. Poison is a tried and true weapon when it comes to efficiently killing humans. Ah, uh, even Shota got hit uh, on his, in his neck again. It is not to be twisted by the nonsensical logic of some senile old soldier. Gah. I mean, he's already poisoned, so I... Say, uh... Kai-sama. Let us hurry to the left. There are still enemies behind us, I know. Good. Advance in the direction of the bulk of our forces. Shit, don't let them get away. You're all going to die here. Nevertheless, it's surprising that he managed to survive for this long after being subjective to the minimum sphere. I keep saying minimum. It's a minimum sphere. Perhaps I shall dissect him once things calm. That he's still going. What? Say, guys, sir. Yeah, he is still. Yeah, he is still. He's like, yeah. Screw all of you. I, I'm still till my final breath. I'm still going. Like he, he looks. Yeah, I, I newfound respect straight up. I, before I said, I, who's this guy? What has he done? He's done nothing, right? But newfound respect. Like he could see the veins and everything. He, he actually looks like Sei. <laughs> he actually looks like Seikai right now. <laughs> Full of poison, yeah, he's like slashing, slashing and dashing. Impossible. Why haven't you died from the poisoned arrows? You still don't understand, do you, Seikai? Seikai, Sa no. It's thinkable that you, uh, you would choto Sama. A man like you has never fought in battle, who spends his day tinkering with underhanded poisons. What would you know of a po of a person's strength? Go, Choto, choto Sama. What would you know of a general's strength? Just behind him, like, hey, say, guys, like, oh, oh, and he just, and he just slashes him in half. He's like, no, uh, no, kiddo, no, you imbecile. A commander does not show his back and flee. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's how, that's how quick it was taken out. Mr. Poison Man, could, the poison couldn't, that, that's gonna be, I want, I want, I, I want, I want this to be, like, I, I want this to be, the, the thumbnail, but that would be extremely spoilery. So I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna. Ha I'm not gonna have that as a thumbnail because that would be way too spoilery. But that's that's a that's a that that that, that this page right here, right? It, that's going into my kingdom folder, right? Because that, that's that's a glorious page, right? Straight up, him just chopping him in half, like yeah, straight down the middle, just chopped him in half. <sighs> that's that's how you go out, right? That is these. 
the sin generals really know how to go out, you know, they really know how to go out. They really know how to go out in style. Ah, Seikai has fallen. Han Commander-in-Chief Seikai has been slain by Choto-sama. Han Army Commander-in-Chief Seikai killed in action. Seikai-sama, no. But yeah, that's the headhunter there. He's splendid, but now that he's fulfilled what he what his last goal was, he's gonna he's gonna die any second. Yeah, he, he can already he, like the life of the life in him is pretty much left already. Like his head is now hanging down below. Don't croak on me just yet, Giza. You still need to grovel before me as part of our agreement. Remember, Kanki is what I want to see, but we don't exactly have that luxury right now. We must avenge Seikai Sama. Kill let, let's get a move on, fellas. Time to beat a retreat. Aye aye, boss. Wait. You still haven't properly answered my question. Ah. Why you chose to fight as a Shin Commoner? Com no, not Commoner. Commander. <laughs> Let me put some respect on Kanka's name, alright? Kill him. Yo, what are we waiting for, boss? We need to go. I don't think you quite understand the situation here. If you won't answer, then I'll do it for you, boss. You find war to be in of course he does, to be enjoyable, and you I think he can see the direction that Shin is going and wanting to conquer everything. You are addicted to the sensation of emerging victorious through your own cunning, and that is a trait shared by many exemplary generals. He's like me, right? Every time I win, I'm like, you know what, I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest. And every time I lose, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna become the greatest, right? It's irritating, but you have the talent too. I won't grovel to you, but promise me this. Become the number one general of Shin. Kanki, I leave Shin to you. Yeah, I mean, Kanki has been awesome, right? But he's not going to become the number one general of Shin, right? There's a certain character called Shin who's going to become the number one character of Shin. <laughs> just, just, just saying, alright? <laughs> become the number one general in Shin, Kanki. I leave Shin to you. Save the sleep talking for when you're dead, Grams. Stubborn bastard. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, he helped. He, uh, yeah, nah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hit the growl. You deserve an honourable death. You're not gonna hit the growl. He's just. <clears throat> That's his final word. And Kanki just grabs him. What an indecisive old man. Good grief, Shoto Sama. Sin General Shoto falls in battle. Respect, man. Absolute respect. As I said, as I said, like these Shin generals, they know how to go out and style. Like they, they are just doing the impossible and making it. They're just poisoned. Twi he got poisoned twice by the archer and by the the the, the sphere, the, min the minimum uh, sphere, and he still, he still won. Not the, not the war, but the battle, right? He still won the battle. Maybe not the war. The war will be won. But, yeah. It's just Seikai perishing. That's gonna... That's that's gonna do a lot of changes right now. That's gonna influence everything. Seikai-sama. How did this happen to him? But where is the enemy gone? By the time the Han army as a whole had realized that something had gone wrong at the headquarter, Kanki... Yeah, of course he had. Of course he had. Kanki had already chapter three or four Shin's bright idea. Kanki had already fled the scene and was swiftly making his way back through a sea of enemies. At the same time, Kanki's men were also doing their best to destroy as many as the uh, as many as the siege crossbows as they could. Who the hell are you, men? That is destroying everything. Relax. We're the repair guys. Destroy. <laughs> we're Han soldiers, you know. Thanks to this, Goho Mei took longer than usual to realize that Han headquarters had been hit. Another one. What on earth is going on here? However, as expected, Seikai's head had come at a cost. Facing Kankoku Pass, the left side belonging to the Kanki army had been greatly overrun. Good, keep pushing in. Just keep up the pressure. To the point where even the three-story watchtower had been set ablaze. You win some, you lose some. Now, they don't have a commander, but they still have the numbers. They still have the soldiers. Now, they need to find someone who can actually lead them. And I think that's going to go to home, mate. I wouldn't be surprised if like, he were to lead everyone. Like, like both factions. I don't think that would... 
work necessarily like just straight away but that might be something that could work I'm, I'm, I don't know all right capture the open the gates from within shoot them don't let a single one down here alive the enemy is using our right stairs not good rally our reserves at the bottom to the right side yes sir can we hold coalition army headquarter what the Han Commander Seikai has been slain like that. Those two are even those are like, what the fuck's going on? He, he's been killed? What the hell happened, sir, about that? We have a number of conflicting reports. Some say he fell to wayside, while others indicate it was the Shin Commander Choto and Kanki. Choto and Kanki? Riboku. If those reports are true, then I imagine it was one of Kanki's surprise attack. In the same vein as the one in which he slew Wei Commander Hakukise during the Battle of Sanju. He's actually managed to kill one of the five commanders of the Coalition Army. That ex- yeah, he, he, he's, he's becoming a great- it's terrible, you know, right? It's just saying. <laughs> Either way, the reports deserve close scrutiny. That said, Kankaku Pass is truly on his last legs now. Even if the death of Seikai is true, it won't change the predicament the Shin have found himself in. We'll see. Oh, we're switching to Shin. Ooh, okay. I mean, it did say Shin. I, I always read the title, but never really take the title in. It did say something about Shin. I don't remember what exactly this chapter was called, but it said something about Shin. So. Duke Xiao Army vs Xiao Army Battleground. The He Shin unit currently engaged in vicious combat with the Rihaku Army. The squad, that's the squad shit. I can't even bring like that. They're just going for everything. Damn it! I thought it was it was uh, it was only a bit further, but we can't get closer to the headquarter at all. They're bringing more and more troops over. Screw it. Let's go another chart of all our men. Wait, Shinona. The foot soldiers are at the limit. They'll collapse if we don't f allow them to recover. <laughs> Shin of the He Shin unit, you are to retreat back to the midpoint. Our Kai unit will take over this area in your stead. What? We can still fight. Stand down. We're an independent unit under the Duke's personal command. We don't need to follow your orders. And like this guy's like, hmm. These are orders from the Duke himself, you brat. Yep. Yeah. So stand down. Stand down. Recover, 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 and then go back. So this water tastes so good. Feels like we've been brought back to life. Phew, thank God. Man, I'm amazed they managed to set up a resting spot all the way out here. Yeah. Right. But, like, seriously, like, he's like, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to go back. And they're like, come on, man. Just let us be a second, bro. Just, just, just chill out, fam. Just, just chill out, all right? Just ch ch chill, bro. Ch ch chill, all right? Shin, are you okay? Ooh. That you, Ten, strategist girl. I was far too naive in my tactics. As expected of Rihaku of the fence. The man who gave even Mobu trouble at Bayou. His skill at diverting strength is impressive. I'm going to change our men's deployment slightly, okay? Nah, we don't need to bother with that, Ten. It ain't tactics. The bastard just keeps pulling back at the perfect time and refuses to come at us seriously. But no, no, but like, that is, that is, that is that's tactics, yeah. <laughs> that's, now, now, have a drink of this and cool your head a bit. Ah, okay, gulp. <laughs> what is this? It burns. And then, where did he just come from? That would be wine, of course. Where did he just? Where did the Duke just come? From? Like a bit blood everywhere as well. Like where did he just come from? Just out of nowhere. Duke Yao. He's covered in blood. To look at the battlefield situation means to take into account your own forces' remaining strength too. Overlook that, and you'll end up getting many of our men, of our own men killed. You fool. Have some water. Cool your head. I don't want to be told that by him. Yeah. Then how is the situation as a whole? You're getting more and more insolent by the minute lot. <laughs> Though we've been chipping away at the Zhao, there haven't been any great changes. I've led 3,000 men to, to smash numerous units in the Zhao's center in order to bait out Keisha. But even after killing 10,000 of his men, there's still not the slightest hint of him coming out. Mm, well, that would have surprised me in all fairness, but yeah, 10,000, yeah. It is. Let's just kill. I've, I've led 3,000 men and we killed 10,000. That, that's how you win a war, right? That's how you win a war. It would seem, it would seem he's decided to simply wait for me to charge right into either Ryoku or Koson Ryo's armies. That way, the way in which he caught us on the first day really was something. Most likely he's prepared one hell of a trap today as well. No doubt about that. So now the question is how are we meant to draw out Keisha? I've got it. She knows, nah, that's not, it's not it's not a great plan. Like, I, I already can tell uh, he's got a plan, but it's not going to be a good one. 
First, we'll have the Duke make a frontal assault on the Ryaku army. And then, when Keisha appears, the He Shin unit will cut in from the side and take him down. Ah, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, I, I mean, that's a, uh, that, that almost seems like a suicide mission. <laughs> what? No, no, just don't, don't go using the Duke as, he's the best bait, though, right? that's not even like a suicide mission. Are you, and it depends on how fast he can actually destroy someone. You know, if the He Shin unit can't take down anyone, then they're pretty much... They've lost. It's just that simple. Are you an idiot? If we lose the Duke, then it's all over. You looking down on us, you shitty brat. What kind of plan is that, you little punk? Let's go. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. He's like, you know what? I like this brat. Let's go with that plan. Let's go with that. And everyone's like, but Shin, he can't plan anything. He's a terrible strategist. Don't listen to him. What he says. We won't, he won't come out unless we go that far at least. Gluck, gluck. The whole reason I called all of you back was so we could try something like this. However, given how sharp Keisha is, even if I act as the bait, you might not be able to catch him off guard, shin lad. All I need is to get close enough to see his headquarter. Once we're that close, I guarantee you we'll bring him down. Grin. Report. Urgent report. Our lookouts have reported that a fire has broken out on Kankoku Pass. A fire on... Yeah, no way. It seems things are getting lively everywhere. We're not going to lose to them. Prepare to set out. Alright. Yeah, he's like, yeah, let, let's, let's go. Let's go. Kanju. A fire has been sighted on the walls of Kankoku Pass. Yes, sire. What of the smoke signal for the fall of the pass? No, no signs of that just yet. Are you certain? Absolutely. However, the fact that our fire has broken out, does that mean it's only a matter of time? Why, why are you all smiling? Like, oh yeah, we're all about to die. But, <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. This is such a funny time. This is such a funny moment. Let's have some fun. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, like, no, you know what I mean? What what happens if Kankoku Pass falls? Like, you're all dead. Kankoku Pass will not fall so easily. My, my lord, Chancellor. The sightings of a fire may confirm that enemies have managed to reach the top of Kankoku Pass's walls. But it's not until the gates below are open that Kankoku Pass truly falls. The main gates which allow the enemy's passage has been blocked up by boulders from within as part of our plan. Hence the enemy must make it past the walls and onto the grounds first to open it from inside. We have reserved station below for just that scenario. All right. I imagine they're engaging the enemy soldiers right as we speak. Heavy infantry, forward. Since it's impossible for the enemy to ferry a large number of troops across the walls at a time, our reserve below should be fully capable. Yeah, that's very, very true. However, there's one thing that can break this deadlock, which is... Don't be so cryptic, tell me. And that is uh, for enemy forces to slip through either either of the battlefields on the left and the right and hit the reserves. But, uh, but that's why you have the other battlefields. Yeah, you know, they, they can't just sneak through it. That's the whole point. One of the other battlefronts. Yes, your majesty. Looking out from Kankoku Pass to the right lies the battlefield of To and Mobu, combined armies against the Chu. They remain in a state of deadlock, going back and forth. Likewise for Duke Xiao army and Zhao further to the right. The, though the Duke has led uh, small strikes into the Zhao forces, there haven't been any large changes overall. Good. Both are managing to hold out despite how dire the odds are. What about Osen? What about the other side? What about the final round going to the left? What if, uh, what if the Osen and Yan armies? Uh, that is... Uh, let me guess, he's lost. Let, like, he's lost. Or, or they're not doing anything. What is it? Can, can it be? They're on the back foot. No, sir. I've had a messenger double check numerous times, but it seems we've. But, it, but it seems we've lost. How do you lose contact with? But it seems we've lost contact with them. Lost contact. What do you mean? I, I mean the general Osan and his troops have completely. Let, uh, let me even do it again. I have had. I've had a mess. Just double check numerous times, but it seems we've lost contact with them. I mean that General Osen and his troops have complete. How do you com completely disappear? I mean, Kanki he sneaked around, but that was like a small, a small army. How do you completely disappear? What did you say? How is? How is this the end? 
how is this the end of the chapter? How, how are you gonna end the chapter with that? Like, like it completely disappeared. Bye. That's that's rude. All right. Chapter three hundred five. Ocean's movements. Kan Koku Pass has been set on fire. You're too loud, Koshan. Then does that mean Kan Koku Pass has fallen? I don't know. The report didn't say that it actually had fallen, but there's no mistaking that it's reached a dangerous point. Yes. What should we do, Yo Chan? You still haven't heard from the king yet. Yeah. Have you finished preparing your baggage too? Yeah, but I still think that if that time comes, His Majesty will probably organize something, most likely, yeah. But at times like this, we must always prepare assuming the worst possible situation, the worst situation. In the event that the enemy really does manage to make it all the way here in the Royal Harem, then the one who would suffer the most would be you, His Carrying His Majesty. Yeah, that, that's very, very true. Run. Me and his bait, I'm scared, so scared, your majesty, Kochan. Get a grip. Now that things have turned out like this, we have no choice but to prepare ourselves for the worst. Like all women in the warring states, we'll prepare ourselves as much as we can. And, that, um, and all that's left is to pray for the men's victory. Oh heavens, please scan the victory to the Shin army. Where is Osen? Oh, and that's, 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 that's all that's on my mind. I'm sorry, but where is Osen, right? What? The Osen army has disappeared from the, from the post? What? Surely. He hasn't decided to just run away, has he? Uh, they did say he's the most dangerous person. Uh, maybe he's uh, maybe he's allied with them. That would be something. <laughs> like, yo, let me join your side, bro. I want to take down the shit, alright? Let me tell you the side. It's not unthinkable, my Lord Chancellor Osen. As head of the same family as the famous Oki, but of the main family. It is rumored that he's equally as talented as Oki himself. However, Due to his dangerous ambition, he never received King Sho's favor. Dangerous ambition. Oisin does not possess a shred of loyalty or patriotism. The reason being, it is said that he desires to become a king himself. What, what did you say? You fools. Why, why? Why would you let him be part of this important battle? Is because he's that good. Why? Why did you appoint a man like that to such a crucial post? Q ha ha ha. Osin. Who would have thought he turned tail and run? Wahaha. This whole battle between Osin and Order has been such a disappointment, I'll be honest. I want to see what Osin can do. I, I, I don't want him to run, alright? Straight up. I don't want that at all. I, I, the reason for the Osin army's appearance stemmed from 30 minutes earlier. Go. Move it. Get your asses up there. Report. The Kauto tribe has infiltrated one of the right forts. The Bako tribe has been wiped out. The Mesa tribe is requesting a thousand men. And the Sakaha the Saka Saha's front is struggling. Eiji tribe has begun moving. The Shito Mitsu took the left fort. Or Ordo Sam that's a good Okay. That's that's a good one. So, how is it, Yuki? Is Osin strong? Quite. The manner in which he uses the mountains, it's hard to believe he's a, a plain it's hard to believe he's a plains folk. The sake the Seki tribe was crushed right before my eyes. Fufu, is that so? Then how is our main offence doing? Grin. The second fort in the north requesting reinforcements. Send three thousand. The first to the west and south have been overrun. Send three thousand to eat, yes sir. Sure is quite around here. See, seems there's fierce fighting everywhere else. Yeah, we've never been pressed so hard before, huh? Just look at them, just climbing up there. Just, just, just that's insane. A enemy in just last now. Before he could even say anything, what orders main attack unit? What what orders main attack unit struck at was the center of the Osen army that was responsible for sending reserves to reinforce the various forts. In a way. It was the heart of the Osin army. To have lost such a vital point, which should have been protected by sheer cliffs, even the Osin army was greatly disturbed. We've lost the central fort? Impossible. Without that fort, all the other ones will be cut off from each other. Osin Tama, we should quickly devise an, a, a new network, and no, it was during this moment that Osin made his decision. Where were yeah, this guy's like, yeah, you know, fuck this shit, I'm out. I, I don't give a shit, right? This, this is not worth my time, right? I'm out. Now we're withdrawing. Report as we fought, they're all empty. Haha, <laughs> even while running away, they make sure to do it thoroughly. Or oh, is that a trap? It might be a trap, right? It might be a trap, but 
he's not done anything so far, so I, I really can't. Uh, he, he's got the hype, you know, being on the, oh, on the same level as Oki from the main family. Oki was just a side, he was a side loser, right? We're the main family, but he's not doing anything yet, and uh, that's why I can't keep right now. I was like, mm, top dog, right? Just, just saying, just saying, right? Even while running away, they make sure to do it for real. If you think they just let go of all of these uh, thoughts, or do, oh, or that. Otaji. So the Ocean Army, I they pull out so fast with actual. They, that's the thing. Nobody knows who, who where they are. If, they could just sneak attack. We actually lost track of them. They were moving northwest as far as their feet could carry them. Northwest, eh? It seems they're seriously planning on abandoning this battle. It would appear Osa is just as Riboku described it. What did Riboku say about him? Though this isn't really an especially important piece of information, Osin is a man who never fights a battle he can it never fights a battle he cannot win. Nah ha ha. Then doesn't that mean he wasn't suited to this battle right from the beginning? General, our young troops in the rear are starting to lag I I didn't mean well, let me go back one second. I, it was like Austin just like going in a circle, just like attacking from behind. Could that could that be? The, I, don't, I don't know. I uh, I'm just speculating just because they say a young troop in the rear are starting to lag behind. Can't blame them, given how rocky this path is. It's probably a bit tough for plains folks, so I don't think so. It's fine. Tell them to follow us at their own speed. I'll be a compl I will be accompanying these men and going ahead. Yes, sir. There's no longer anyone to stand in our way. We do not need to wait for the rest. Once we've made it through this pass, it should open up and right here awaits a great cliff, a bridge that will lead us behind the walls of Kankoku Pass. Ooh, impressive. I've never met a man who can read the mountains as accurately as this. As expected of the man who, despite being from the plains, was able to become the king of 50 different mountain tribes. That's that. Oro, Oro has some hype right now, but... Just hype-wise, right, he's losing to Osan. Just from, hype, from a hype perspective, he's losing to Osan, right? And I, I, I don't want to see hype. I want to see feats, all right? Fufu. Unless you like the the, the the six generals, right? Yeah, those guys are gonna have hype because they were in the past. But uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you got you gotta you gotta you know, gotta gotta calm down with the hype, all right? Just saying, foo foo. The blood of plains folks might run in my veins, but I was, uh, and but I was and born and raised in the mountains. Military strategists who specialize in mountain terrain are said to be able to predict the lay of the land ahead just by analyzing the mountains in front of them. Naturally, the various mountain tribes that served Ordo were all capable of this. However, Ordo's mountain read mountain reading, you can read a mountain, okay, skill was in a whole different league, which is why he was able to pinpoint the location of Osen's central command and crush it with surgical precision. And what was reflected in Oro's eyes right now was a humongous cliff that blocked the path which led behind Kankoku Pass. Smile. All that's left is to climb this cliff and follow the ridge and we will be able to pour into the area behind Kankoku Pass. And naturally, there does no, there does not exist a wall that we cannot climb. You got the mountain tribes that we cannot climb. Go, my brethren. This battle is in that ah, you just lost. You just lost because you because you just said it, this battle is mine. You've just lost. You're probably gonna be like at the top and like throw like a rock down or, so, or something or stupid like that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. It's I like they literally they literally just did a, like a like a circle. They, they literally just went from the back and just attacked them from behind. Like while all while they're all climbing right now, oh, it's just like yeah. Cool, cool story, bro. I'm right behind you. I mean, that's it. I have to say that's a glorious panel, right? That's a that's a that right there is a glory with, with the cape as well, just fluttering in the wind. That's a glorious panel. But like the second, the second I like the sec, if I was a general, right? The second I would hear the troops in the rear are lagging behind, right? They're not able to keep up. I would be like, you know what? We need to investigate right now, right now. What an idiot. And that's how it ends. So yeah, he just appeared from right behind. Was like, yo, boy, boy, if you don't learn, like, come on, bro, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Why are you climbing this mountain? 
asking him, why are you wasting your time for climbing this mountain, bro? I'm right behind you, bro. And he's got all the archers ready, just a bunch of archers, all of them, just like, yeah, we're ready to go, just attack from behind. <sighs> that's how you get outplayed. And that's good. Good. That was a good move from Osin, right? That was a good move from Osin. I don't know how much of a good, I don't know how much, I don't, I don't want to say it was a great move, it was a good move, you know, but I feel like Ordo almost just, he, he just like kind of like, yeah. as Zebra would say, you got too cocky, straight up. That, that's his downfall, that's going to be his death, straight up. Uh, he was like, oh yeah, we've won, we've done this, they've all retreated. Like, no, 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 son, 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 son. Calm down. You're all about to die, alright? You're all about to die. Just for saying, I've won, means that you've lost. <laughs> 101, alright? Storytelling 101. That's just the way it is. We'll have to wait until next next volume to see how it continues, right? But good. Olsen has actually done something good. First time he's actually done anything in the series. I actually like that we got to see uh, as, as well. We got to see like a little bit of like every battlefield. You know, we got to see a little bit of Shin. We got a little. We got to see a little bit of Kanki. Obviously, but previously we got to see a little bit of um, Mogo, uh, Ohan, and Moten. Sorry, Mobu, no, not Mogo. Uh, well, we got to see Mogo. We got to. See, we got to see everyone actually. Um, so that was actually kind of cool. We got to see like perspectives from each battlefield and just seeing how like every Station, every battle is going so far, so that's actually pretty cool. Finally, get to see Osa do something. Hopefully, we'll get to see more spy in the next one. That's what I'm hoping for, alright? Anyway, folks, I will see you all in the next one, everyone. Peace out, have a nice day, and bye.